I'm Miracle, and welcome to Storytime. This is our special time to share a story together. Yay, yay, yippity, yay! Yeah! Today, I'll be reading the story from this book, The Lion and the Mouse. In this story, the mouse has a big problem, and then the lion has a big problem. It's very exciting. Oh! Now, get your ears ready to listen, get your eyes ready to look, and get your brain ready to wonder. Ready! Let's read The Lion and the Mouse. Let's read The Lion and the Mouse. Hey, look, there's a special message. Let's read it and see what the author has to tell us. Aesop's Fables. What are Aesop's Fables? Legend tells us that Aesop lived a very long time ago in a place called Greece and became famous for telling stories that were intended to teach lessons about life. We call his stories Aesop's Fables. So this story is a fable a short story that will teach us a lesson. Here we go! The Lion and the Mouse One day, a mighty lion, tired from hunting all morning, lay down to take a nap under a large, shady tree. Aw, the lion looks so comfy, like he has no problems at all. The lion looks like it's snoring! Some mice that lived at the foot of the tree scrambled over the sleeping lion to return to their home. <laughs> the mice look like they're having a great time. But just as the last mouse was crawling over him, the lion woke up. The lion laid his big paw on the little mouse, trapping him. I wonder what the little mouse will do. The mouse was very afraid. He apologized to the lion for disturbing him and begged him to spare his life and let him go. The lion pitied the little mouse, so he lifted his paw and set the mouse free. Woof! The mouse is okay! Boy, he looked so scared while he was having his problem. And then he was so happy when it was solved. Sometime later, the lion was walking near the mouse's home. The lion accidentally stepped on a trap set by a hunter, and a net made of thick ropes captured the lion and pulled him up into a tree. Being trapped in a net is a big problem for a big lion. I wonder if he'll be able to escape. What do you think? It looks like a lot of you think he will. I wonder how he'll solve this terrible problem. The lion struggled to free himself, but could not. His angry roars rumbled through the forest as he became upset and afraid. I wonder how he'll solve this terrible problem. Hurry, let's find out! The mouse heard the lion's cries. Remembering the lion's kindness, the mouse ran to the tree and climbed up to the trap. He used his sharp little mouse teeth to gnaw through the thick ropes and set the lion free. <laughs> Look at the chompers on that mouse. I'm glad he was around to help, aren't you? Yes, yes, yippity yes! That little mouse is the best! The lion and the mouse were friends forever after. Both of them had learned that it is good to help someone who has helped you. Aw, they're smiling now because they've got no more problems. Those are two super helpful friends. Just like Miracle and Nano. <laughs> Moral of the story. 
good deeds are rewarded. The lesson is good deeds, like helping, are rewarded. Let's go help someone today. And remember to ask for help when you need it. Nano always asks for help. That's how Nano learns. Hey, would you like to hear the story one more time? Yes, yes, yippity, yes. I thought you would. But this time, I'm going to read it straight through without stopping. You can listen to the words and look at the characters in the illustrations. The Lion and the Mouse One day, a mighty lion, tired from hunting all morning, lay down to take a nap under a large, shady tree. Some mice that lived at the foot of the tree scrambled over the sleeping lion to return to their home. But just as the last mouse was crawling over him, the lion woke up. The lion laid his big paw on the little mouse, trapping him. The mouse was very afraid. He apologized to the lion for disturbing him and begged him to spare his life and let him go. The lion pitied the little mouse. So he lifted his paw and set the mouse free. Sometime later, the lion was walking near the mouse's home. The lion accidentally stepped on a trap set by a hunter. And a net made of thick ropes captured the lion and pulled him up into a tree. The lion struggled to free himself, but could not. His angry roars rumbled through the forest as he became upset and afraid. The mouse heard the lion's cries. Remembering the lion's kindness, the mouse ran to the tree and climbed up to the trap. He used his sharp little mouse teeth to gnaw through the thick ropes and set the lion free. The lion and the mouse were friends forever after. Both of them had learned that it is good to help someone who has helped you. The end. Did you know that this book is in the ABC Mouse Library? You can listen to it as many times as you like. You can even make it one of your favorites. Okay, bye for now, and I can't wait for the next story time, when it's time to share another awesome story together. Bye bye, bibbidi bye! ABCMouse.com